What's up everyone? Welcome back. Uh, this video is going to be kind of a weird one, but it's very important. Um, the reason it's important is because, uh, well, if we neglect some of the things that I'm about to talk about, uh, it kind of throws the reason we are doing what we're doing, which is building guitars, right out the window. Uh, and the thing that we're going to be talking about in this video that is so important is uh, personal protection. Um, and what I mean by that is uh, making sure that you're preserving your eyes, your ears, your lungs, all of that good stuff so that, uh, well, obviously you want to see these beautiful guitars that you're making. You want to hear them and uh, you don't want to get super winded and not be able to breathe when you're playing them on stage, right? I mean, that's what we're doing this for. So let's get started and uh, let's talk about some of the first things uh, that we want to protect ourselves against. And that is um, dust and wood chips, um, and but mostly I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you about dust, uh, wood dust, uh, in particular. Um, before I do that, let me step right over here because I gotta grab something to show you guys. Okay, so dust masks. Now, the reason that these are super important is, it, depending on what you're working with, there can be some things that are not very good. Um, and when I say not very good, they're beautiful to look at. Uh, for instance, check out this rosewood. Super pretty, but breathing in the dust, can be harmful to your lungs. Um, you don't want to do that. Uh, the other thing that's super bad is uh, when you're making templates. Templates most of the time are either acrylic, which I'm sure acrylic dust is horrible, but the other main thing that templates are made out of is MDF. MDF has a lot of bad stuff in it that you don't want to be breathing in. Um, so a, a good dust mask, which, you know, you can pick these up at like Harbor Freight. They're super cheap, but they're going to protect your lungs and they're going to keep you breathing good. So make sure you grab one of these. Next time you go to Harbor Freight, grab a box of them. There's, a lot of times they'll come in like five packs or whatever and use them. They are, well, technically a lifesaver. So, so the other important uh, health aspect um, that you want to protect are your eyes. Um, now this is where, you know, we're creating these works of art. In my opinion, a guitar is a work of art. And I love seeing all of the different shapes and styles and it, I love looking at them. I love seeing them. They're just, they're cool. Um, that's why I don't just like the stuff that I build, but I think they're pretty cool what I do. But all the stuff that you guys are building, I'm, I'm subscribed to a bunch of different uh, guitar building channels here on YouTube. And I, just, I, I like watching what you guys do. Um, I like doing, you know, what I do as well. But without our eyes, we're kind of, we, we can't. Um... And there's a lot of hazards in what we do. Uh, when you're when we're routing, that blade is shooting out small chips, which if we get one of those wood chips in our eyes, it could be, you know, pretty pretty devastating. So invest in a good pair of safety glasses or goggles. Um, I've got a couple different styles here. Um, these ones right here. These are pretty dusty because they've been in the shop, but uh, they adjust so that they fit well. Um, show you, they've got some nice padding on the inside, but they seal up to my eyes really well. So not even any flex can get down in there. And I actually got these uh, when I was working uh, in the acoustic division for Gibson. Um, 
these were uh, some that they were giving out to employees and I was able to grab actually a couple pair. This is one and uh, this is my second pair. This one has a strap on it so that it can really suck to my head good. Um, and you know, I, I thought at first that I wasn't gonna like the strap, but it's actually pretty comfortable. It pulls it nice and tight to your face so that your your eyes are really protected. Now, you don't have to go this fancy. You can actually, again, Harbor Freight, if you're working on a tight budget, and pick up some simple, I think these are like three, four bucks, something like that, at Harbor Freight. And they're just simple plastic, but they're, again, they fit really nice, nice and snug up to my eyes and provides a lot of protection. Protect your eyes. This is very, very important. All right. So third thing, I'm actually going to kind of take you around. So we're going to go on a little bit of a walk here through my messy shop that I need to clean up. But here's the important thing. I downloaded an app. I know it's just an app, so it's not super accurate, but it's accurate enough uh, to really kind of show you what I'm talking about. So right here, this guy is my Laguna 1412 bandsaw. Now, this bandsaw uh, is amazing. I highly recommend if you need a good, high-quality bandsaw. Think about one of these. Um, however, while this is running, without pushing any wood through it, it runs at about, mm, se it was averaging at about 78 decibels without any wood through it. When I started pushing wood through it, it jumped up to about 80, 82. Now, hearing damage over a, a, a prolonged time, anything above 70 decibels over a prolonged time can cause damage to your ears. Well, this thing's sitting at like 78. When I start pushing wood through, it's up over 80. Over a prolonged time, if I'm doing a lot of, of band sawing or I'm doing a lot of resawing, which is what I mostly use this for, as you can see, I've got the Resaw King blade on it. If I take a whole day of doing nothing but resawing over and over and over, that's a whole day of loud, at least, you know, over that 70 decibels over a prolonged time. It could cause hearing damage. Now, this guy here which is kind of in the dark because of the light. It's just a simple belt and disc sander. That guy was running at about 74 decibels. And again, that was not pushing any wood on it, not doing anything, not really sanding anything. That's just its running noise. Uh, it was over that 70. So again, if I take a day sanding or if I take even an hour or two hours to sand something on that, it's a prolonged time and it could start to cause hearing damage. Now, the other big thing in my shop that I use a lot of is my CNC, which if we look at is nothing more than a DeWalt 611 uh, compact router so with guitar building we use routers a lot whether it's a compact hand router or a full-sized router we're using routers that guy was also about the same as the dewalt 14 or the i'm sorry the laguna 1412 bandsaw so again if we're putting a guitar body on there that takes 45 minutes to an hour to cut depending on how aggressively you're running your machine, uh, sometimes they can take a lot less time. But nonetheless, if you're doing multiple bodies in a day, if you're doing multiple cuts in a day, maybe not necessarily guitar bodies, maybe doing some wooden signs, 
uh, again, being over that 70 decibels is something that you're going to need to protect against. Now, I don't have any of the big over the ear uh, headphones or hearing protectors or ear defenders. Um, 3M makes a great one. I actually used those uh, quite a bit while I was working for Gibson. Um, I know it's not super great, but even just a pair of headphones connected to some music. Again, you don't want it to be super loud so because, thing, well, that's what we're trying right, to protect. Now we're not again. Blurry. One thing that uh, I will say is if you're going to use headphones, which again, it's not the greatest choice, although there are uh, some companies uh, that make headphones that are uh, industry kind of quality for loud uh, atmospheres, if you will, workshops, things like that. Um, I'll leave a link to some down below. Uh, my favorite ones that I used, um, especially when I was spending 10, 12 hour days, uh, you know, working in, in the Gibson factory with sanders and everything, you need hearing protection. Um, but the company that I really liked and the, the, the brand that I really liked was called Plug Phone. Um, they are uh, OSHA certified or OSHA approved, whatever you want to call it, uh, but they make a great one. However, there are wires. Now, one thing... If you have this, you know, connected to your phone and you've got these in your ear, you've got this, it's kind of dangerous just hanging around. One thing that I always, always do is take this and I'll run it down my shirt. So now there's no swinging, dangling cord to get caught in a sander or a saw or anything like that. It's protected against my body, and it's out of danger, basically. All right, so the so, last health um, issue that I think we need to talk about is being in a shop for, you know, hours at a time with the saw going, with the sander going, with the router going, just droning on and on. It can be a bit monotonous. Well... And it can be quite draining. So I highly recommend uh, defending your mental health as well. And the best way for me to do that is music. I mean, that's a huge thing for me. So I highly suggest grabbing something like this guy here. Now, that is a Bluetooth uh, speaker that I actually picked that up at a, uh, a yard sale that a guy had out there said it was free because he didn't have the power supply. Luckily, it's just an IEC cable. And uh, why are we blurry? Okay, it, it was just a regular IEC cable, um, like a regular computer cable. So I took it home, I plugged it in and it started charging right up. Now I just leave it plugged in Bluetooth my phone to it. I've got music. I've got podcasts. I've got all this stuff that I can listen to and keep myself entertained while I'm working. Um, now, granted, you do have to have it up a little bit so that you can hear it through your, you know, if you're using uh, non-headphone, non-music earplugs uh, or ear defenders like the big 3M ones, which again, I'll leave you some links. Uh, down in the description below for some that are actually Bluetooth enabled. So you don't have to have that. That can actually tie in to your hearing protection as well. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know it is super important to protect yourself, your hearing, your eyes, your lungs, um, and most importantly, your mental health, because this is something that hopefully you're getting a lot of joy out of. Um, and you continue to do for a long time. So I hope some of that was uh, informative um, and helps you guys out. Uh, I am currently uh, 
figuring out my second guitar build for uh, Great Guitar Build Off 2021. Um, I am doing two, uh, one solo by myself and then one, uh, as you saw in the previous video with my son, um, which we are calling the bell. Uh, my solo one, I don't really have a name for it, but hey, it's going to be cool either way. Uh, so hope you guys are excited. I hope, like I said, this has provided you with a little bit of, uh, education and some help and, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for checking out this video and go protect yourself and till next time, keep building, keep having fun. See you guys in the next video. Bye. All right, since you're still here, um, I forgot to mention some kind of cool things going on. Um, one of my favorite uh, adhesives uh, that I thoroughly enjoy using is Starbond um, adhesives. Uh, we recently got together and we're providing you guys with uh, a whopping 10% off. So if you go to Starbond, uh, I think it's Starbond adhesives. I'll leave a link down below where you can find uh, Starbond adhesives. But if you use my code, JaybirdCustoms10, they're going to knock 10% off for you guys. And I think that is super awesome. Um, so make sure if you're going to get some glue, use that code. Um, I'll post it somewhere here. Use the code, knock 10% off. Uh, I really appreciate Starbond doing that for not only you guys, but me as well. So, last time. Keep building, keep having fun, get in the shop, make something. See you guys next time.